Hello, this is not a spring chick. Oh, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Naughty spring chick. <laughs> anyway, not a spring chick t shirts are available now for Christmas delivery. Just ask us how. Oh, gosh, it sounds like one of those infomercials, doesn't it? But for now, we'll bring old Cam on for comments on the headlines of today. And they're organic, too. Um, even as winds calm, more Californians flee fires. Well, we were there yesterday. No matter what they're saying, the fires are burning. They are still burning. In fact, if you look, I know, I feel like I'm, I'm coming in. Like, if you look all over there, there's still smoke in the air. And those are from fires. Yeah, and this behind us is just as bad on the other side. Oh. President-elect Barack Obama's advisors have begun reviewing former President Bill Clinton. What are you reviewing them for? Oh, they're trying to see what financial connections he may have with people that might affect uh, Hillary's judgment. No, they already know that. He couldn't oh, come on! <laughs> Basically, they're trying to give an excuse not to pick Hillary now, which would be, they said now that they put it out there, she does not get it, it's going to make the Obama people pay. Yeah, well, you know, part of it is it's, Hillary still has a lot of fans out there that are really upset. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You're missing somebody. I know. The, uh, the valued guess, member of our... Can, can you tell? Does he look like he's missing somebody? I know. I know. I know. And, more, BS, and for more news. I know. This is what... This is BS has th that to say about betting Bill Clinton. Where is the offer? I know. Betting Bill Clinton. Yeah. I mean, no, betting Bill Clinton. I mean, that just... He, uh, what don't you know about the Clintons that you really don't want to know? <laughs> That's true. Well, besides, you know, it's like, he wouldn't pass his own vetting process. I know it. Where is the offer to bail out Circuit City or Mervyn's or other companies with those workers inferior to the auto workers? I, I know. that they're, they're Basically, they figure that this is all going to end up with so much litigation that you cannot believe it. Why is one business more important to another business? Why is a union more important to non-union people? They're still losing their jobs. Obama seen likely. I know there's lots of stuff coming up for that one. Yeah. There will be. Obama seen likely to renew funds for birth control clinics. <laughs> yeah, that's a gimme. I mean that don't. Did I you mean see that come with universal health care. Yeah. Oil falls below fifty-six dollars a barrel as Japan slips into recession. Actually, about twenty minutes ago was fifty-four dollars a barrel because the, they're selling energy stock like it was worthless now. Well. Yep. I guess you're not going to get lots of windfall profit taxes from them, That's, are you? That was not his intention, no. Barack Obama said the $700 billion bailout plan has done little to improve the economy. Yeah, because it's not being handled the way Obama wants it to be handled, mainly going to people that supported him. Well, part of it is it hasn't tanked as much as it looked like it was going to. Yeah. Um, it well, because there's actually that. no money, actually. The only money that's going into hands is, is bankers who aren't loaning it. And that's not helping anything. Right. Floods under Antarctic ice speed glaciers into sea. It's called. Uh, the study says. It's called, it's called nature. It does that every so often. Obama, the U.S. government will do whatever it takes to revive the economy, and that means we shouldn't worry about the deficit next year or even the year after. Yeah. It's like you know, here we go, folks. B.S. made his comment. You know, B.S. Our little friend B.S. says. Isn't that what they hammered John McCain on, was huge deficits? Well, you know, even 60 Minutes kind of paused when he said that. They're yeah, going, what? it's all right if you run a deficit if you're a Democrat, but if you're a Republican, it's a it's a no-no. You notice how things change. Yeah, since well, <laughs> things change. Okay, the more things change, the more things stay the same. You know, if you step right just, just this direction a little bit. I know. No, we have a boat coming for us. Oh, look at that. I mean, maybe to come up on the beach. We're going to see right here. No, I know. I get out of the picture. But if we if we get out of the picture too much, our, our wireless mics don't pick things up. So. I know. I mean, it looks a lot further in the camera picture, but it looks like it's coming right for us. Yep. Floods. So okay. Uh, surprise vote count against Stevens in Alaska. Yeah, What's isn't that surprise? amazing? Sur oh! Surprise, surprise, surprise. A Republican is not getting any votes during a counting. Oh, you mean during a recount? No, they haven't got to the recount. Oh. They're still counting the main votes, and he can't seem to pick up any votes. 
He just keeps losing. It said that it does look like Stevens is going to lose the election because all of the uh, the final votes seem to be going towards the other candidate. All of the votes seem to be going Doesn't towards Doesn't that say voter fraud? They don't care. Actually, maybe it's not voter fraud. It's fraud on the pe part of the people counting. Yeah. Obama staff combines D.C. with Chicago. Yeah, the, the worst of all possible worlds. Chicago doesn't think they ever do anything wrong. And Washington knows they don't. Uh-oh. Investors starting to blame Obama and Democrats over fall of the market. Gee, it's starting? So, yeah, I think they've lost 18% of the stock market's worth since Obama became president. And since the Democrats took control, it's, uh, uh, they've lost like 4,000 points since the Democrats took control of Congress. That was starting? Yeah. West Virginia town shrugs. Oh, actually, the press is just acknowledging it now. Yeah. Actually, the press isn't acknowledging it. Oh, I, I would tell you that way to do it. If you want to say something negative about Obama or the Democratic Party, put it in a newspaper because nobody bothers to read that except us. Um, West Virginia town shrugs at poorest health ranking. Ooh. Well, because, okay, I can tell you this morning, the latest thing from the from the politically correct people specifically says that everybody but you is responsible for your poor health. Oh, really? Yeah. Your environment, your friends, your job, what restaurants are serving you, fast food uh, restaurants. Remember, Obama is the, the spokesman for Generation We, which means taking no responsibility for anything you do yourself. Yeah, I noticed that absence of personal responsibility when yeah. you're talking about that. Um, Obama's, well, <laughs> I'm off track. <laughs> Obama said he hopes to emulate FDR's willingness to keep looking for solutions until something worked. Okay, that's called the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey approach, which means you you throw everything out there and hope something works. It doesn't work that way in in, in real life, guys. You have to get a plan, stick to it, and if that plan doesn't work, then try something else. But you got to really have an idea to start with. Can Blu-ray save Christmas for Hollywood? <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> that, this is the ultimate one there. Nobody wants Blu-ray. Nobody wants it. It is pretty good, but I think people still have to buy their TVs, which... They still have to get the high-def TV first. A lot of people don't want to put the money out there. They don't have to put the money out there. And Blu-ray discs cost an ungodly amount of money compared to DVDs. Although the prices are coming down. Yeah, but they're not. They're only coming down because the companies are going under. We have not focused on foreclosures and what's happening to homeowners as much as I would like, Obama yeah. says. Okay, they, they said this morning on one of the, on one of the uh, financial networks, if you're white and you, make a le and you actually can pay for your you know, home, do not apply if you're on the verge of foreclosure. It's a minority-only loan program. Isn't that reverse discrimination? Who cares? They're in control. Oh, that's just like the voting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Proof that Obama is not the chosen one. Racism still exists. I know. Isn't that a good one? That's from a black minister. Uh, vitamin C or E pills do not prevent cancer. <laughs> what? Okay. Basically, you can get cancer standing in the sand, so what does prevent it? <laughs> Deaths uncounted in China's tainted milk scandal. Do you think they're going to tell people how many people died? It's a dictatorship. Oh, yeah. And if they were, do you think they'd be accurate? Yeah. Obama interview a big get for CBS is Steve Croft. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, basically, he's paying off big time. He doesn't like the people at ABC. They're on his dead, drop dead list, so he went to CBS first. And yeah, MSN is in his back pocket. So. Yeah, but 60 Minutes is still, you know. Yeah, but always. still, yeah. MSN is MSN is the all Obama network, and CBS basically uh, is not ABC, so he went to CBS. Okay, racism. We'll get more into that later. Labor unions at the Federal Admi Aviation Administration are looking to President-elect Barack Obama for quick action. But they want huge pay increases. More, they want to have more union workers hired and pay huge pay increases. Postal workers are probably next too. Yeah. I'm on demobilism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. It, it, it's that a victor goes to spoils. Look no further than the fact that the, how many people that Obama supported Obama are in the bailout program now which was never meant to happen.